I want to thank our witnesses from DHS, CBP, TSA, and the State Department for coming here today to discuss the decision to allow scheduled commercial air travel between the U.S. and Cuba. I know that the State Department played an important role in arranging the civil aviation partnership with Cuba, and I hope that Principal Deputy Assistant Secretary Tong can give us some insight into the process that led to this <coughs> agreement. Right now, as we know, only chartered flights operate between the U.S. and Cuba, but under the terms of the agreement that was announced in February, at some point this year, American air carriers will be allowed to operate more than 100 scheduled flights each day in addition to the chartered flights. Before that can happen, TSA, DHS, CPP, CBP, and other relevant agencies must verify that Cuban airports meet international security standards and are fully prepared to screen passengers and their baggage before they board a plane bound for the U.S. I'm looking forward to hearing from TSA and from all of our witnesses about how they would assess Cuba's airport security right now, what they're doing to enhance security at Cuban airports, and whether they have concerns about Cuba's security capabilities. I'm also looking forward to hearing how TSA is working with air carriers and what kinds of regulations will be issued to further enhance security. For instance, what mechanisms are in place to ensure that we know exactly who is on board a flight bound for the U.S.? How will we ensure that we're obtaining accurate information from passengers traveling to the U.S.? How does CBP intend to verify travel documents and ultimately determine whether or not a certain individual can enter the U.S.? Those are some of the salient questions that I think need to be addressed in this discussion because allowing scheduled air travel between the U.S. and Cuba clearly has the potential to benefit both of our countries, but it also comes with unique security challenges. So I hope our, cons our conversation today will help clarify what those challenges are and how we will overcome them. Mr. Chairman, thank you again for convening this hearing. I yield back the balance of my time.